Hey guys, I'm here at Warp Sports uh, in Indiana, and my GMAC frame just came in, so I'm going to go ahead and install it. I have my GTEC with me. Uh, when you open up the GMAC box, you get your manual, your frame, really liking the, the look of that. Trigger is much softer than I thought it would be, so I might have to shore that up a little bit. You get your, um, basically a three-way for an auto cocker, but... Now it's internalized, and your spares baggie for all the stuff that you may or may not need later. So I've got my g -Tech right here. Jack Woods said that this can be done in about five minutes. He said that he did it in 30 seconds. I don't know if I believe that, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and remove our ASA. Definitely have to do that first. I know this is probably a really weird angle, but uh, the counters are a lot closer than they used to be. So it's kind of hard to, to film videos here. Okay, let's go ahead and remove that real quick. Okay, gotta take out, uh, let's take off our frame next, actually. Or no, let's take off the grips first. That's what we gotta do, we gotta take off the grips, unplug everything, then we can take off the frame without, you know, possibly damaging wires. And that's what we don't wanna do in case we wanna switch back to Having an electronic gun, which, um, I mean, I might do, I don't know. I mean, after watching the process, it's like, man, I don't think I could do this at an event. Like, unless we're in the camper, like, you know, with my tech mat splayed out, I don't think that I would want to do this at a scenario event. Oh, what just fell out? Oh, yeah, the little washer things. Of course, you don't need those with the EMAC frame, which is nice. Okay, we can go ahead and pull that wire. And this wire, I think we're the only two wires that he said had to be pulled. There we go. Yeah, because the other one just connects to the, the switch, which stays in the gun. Oh, the battery's falling out there. Okay, go ahead and remove our frame screws, which we will need to put this back on. Uh, I'm kind of happy that it is, um, like I'm looking at it now, like most autocockers from like what I've put together and from what I've seen, um, the screws don't come out through the bottom. Like the screws usually sit in the frame and then like, or like they sit in the body and then you have to put the, the like you have to slide the frame on and then you can uh, like tighten it down and make sure that it's it's snug. So it's, it's kind of cool. Again, like I'm comparing this to auto cockers when it's not really an auto cocker. Like when you think about it, it's, it's a pneumatic electronic gun, which is a weird thing, okay. So there we go, we got all our wires out and shit. Okay, frame off. Not gonna need that for a while. Okay, now we've got the eye covers that we have to take off. Okay, so there's one. Make sure you keep your detents in there, of course. I mean, this is pretty much what everybody said in their videos of doing this. Sorry, I know I'm not like keeping it on camera, but Trying to get it done. So, okay, and we got the, gotta get the eyes out real quick. Uh huh. Got the guys from the store going, oh, I'm sorry for standing in front of the thing that's going ding, 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 ding. Okay, and then we're gonna use a screwdriver, remove our solenoid. I'm trying to whisper, talk about random things. <laughs> what they don't, what they don't realize is that the iPhone's audio is very good. <laughs> All right. Okay, so there's our regular solenoid. We want to make sure that we keep that, or else we can't go back to it being an electronic gun. You do have 
O-rings on there, make sure they're in place, make sure they're not fucked up, make sure they're good to go. Take our regular solenoid out of the baggie, or our three-way solenoid, whatever the hell you want to call it. Orient it the correct way, so that way it gets hit on the trigger pull. Okay. Now we're talking about shoes, very quietly. <laughs> Tighten this guy down. Okay. Pretty sure it's tightened down enough. Just want to make sure it's snug. Don't want to smash our O-rings or anything like that. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and put our eye covers back on too before we lose our detents, because that would not be good. Okay, I definitely don't think that we beat Jack Woods in his 30 seconds or what have you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the frame on if we can. We're not screwing this up too bad. There we go. All right. And that is the GMAC frame put on, man. So, yeah, and then you just got to reinstall your ASA, your macro line, etc. And that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to finish this up off camera, and you'll be able to hopefully see a gameplay video next week sometime if I can record when I go and play tomorrow. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.